Hi, everyone. My name is Luciano, and I'm a third year applied computer science student at Saxon University of Applied Sciences in Enschede, which is on the far east of the Netherlands, 160 kilometers away from Amsterdam and directly at the border with Germany. In this presentation, I'll talk a bit about my study program. The presentation will cover the following topics. I'll briefly talk about who I am and then explain why I chose to study applied computer science. Then I will provide more detail on the study program and talk about two big projects that I work so far as part of my studies. After that, I will talk about career opportunities after graduation and then give you reasons to why you should come and study in Enschede. So who am I? Well, I was born and raised in Brazil and have also completed my high school there as well as one year in university. Um, I come from an Italian family and moved to Milano when I was 19. After working for a few years, I got transferred to London, where I lived for a long time, working on a career that had nothing to do with computing. Uh, being fed up with that, I decided to come to the Netherlands to follow my passion of studying towards a computer-related bachelor degree. So why did I choose Apply Computer Science? As mentioned, I wanted to develop myself and change careers to a more technical one. Um, I've always been passionate about computers and was always fascinated about how they worked. Uh, the course itself is similar to software engineering, but you also have to get a bit hands-on with the hardware, which is one of the main things that attracted me to this particular program. It is focused on embedded systems, which is an area I wish to work with in the future, and it has similarities with electronic engineering, which is also an area that interests me. Another thing about this course is that you really do put your knowledge to practice as you have projects every single quarter. So this is an overview of all available subjects for applied computer science and electrical and electronic engineering. The combination of hardware, such as sensors and microcontrollers, and programming languages such as C, C++, and Java form the core of the applied computer science program. Uh, the subjects in white and gray that you can see are done by all students of all the three courses I mentioned. Then the ones in blue are exclusive to applied computer science, while the ones in green are for both applied computer science and electronic engineering students. The first year covers a lot of the basics, and you can see it here, uh, from maths to digital systems, programming, algorithms, and basic hardware and electrical components knowledge. It is very similar to the electrical and electronic engineering, and you will work on the same projects as them. Uh, the second year, which is here, gets way more specific into programming and using microcontrollers. You will work on software only projects as well and learn how operating systems and kernels work directly with the hardware. You can also see the project integration over here is in green. And that is because you work on a project where your group is composed of both applied computer science and electronic engineering students. In the final two years of your bachelor, you will do a six month internship in a company. Then you will work on a semester long project with students from multiple course programs, including mechanical engineering, uh, mechatronica, physics, and etc. And after that, you can choose a specialization and study that for six months uh, during your minor. And finally, at the end, you will work on your final thesis, which is done via a project also in a company. And you can choose the order in which you do these three semesters here, uh, except for the final one, which needs to be at the very end. So talking a bit about a project that I worked on the first year, which was to to develop a self-driving RC car or remote control car. And it had to follow a track that was uh, not actually 100 meters, roughly 10 meters long uh, with turns. And there was a ramp at the end. Um, the only thing that we were given was the car frame. And then we had to choose all the other components based on research. Um, we have used an Arduino board with a motor shield as the microcontroller, a servo to control the, the steering, which was then also controlled by the Arduino, and also uh, the batteries and the motors. We had to the freedom to choose what we thought was more fit. Uh, we also had to develop 
um, electrical schematics, as you can see here, which is all covered in the courses during the first year. This is an example of the code. Um, it's not a complete code, but we needed to code it ourselves so that the sensors at the front of the car would detect where the turns were and when the ramp was to increase the engine speed or reduce it accordingly and make the turns. This image on the left is actually the final product of our car. You can see that there are some infrared sensors that we use to detect the track, as well as all the other components here at the top. Uh, and there's a small video of the car working on a small section of the track. And uh, please note that this was completely autonomous. You can see it's finding its bearings. And then it follows the white line, making the turns. And then after the section of the track, there will be a ramp and then the car will need to speed up. Uh, this was a very fun project. And in the end, it was actually done as a race between all groups, um, between the international students and the Dutch students. Another project example was done in the second year was entirely software-based. We had to do a develop a weather station and a software to look at graphs and information about the weather collection. What was given to us was what you can see on this first part of this image, which was the sensors that would detect uh, temperature, ambient pressure, and light. Um, and we had to then create the connections with a LoRa gateway and using the, the Things network, which is already a platform online. Um, and then after that, we had to develop everything, uh, including a database, how to store the data, and then how to transmit this data to users uh, via computer, uh, software, or a web page, and an app on a mobile phone. Uh, on the right, you can see an example of how the temperature was being read after we formatted, uh, showing the temperature, the timestamp, the pressure, and the ambient light. Then this is an example of a user interface uh, we have created so that um, let's say it's a software on your computer, you can open and then you get live readings um, and graphs being compiled. You can see the timestamps, um, you can choose the, if you want to see just the temperature, the amylite pressure, and this was all developed by us. Um, so it was quite uh, an interesting project. You do a product pretty much from the beginning to end. So in terms of career opportunities, um, applied computer scientists find uh, work at many kinds of companies. In fact, uh, whatever software needs to be written or where devices are made, let's say for traffic safety, um, consumers or hospitals, for example, most applied computer scientists do a lot of programming work, usually in combination with embedded systems and the internet. You can also choose, of course, to start your own business. Um, there is a tremendous demand for highly educated IT professionals and 95% of graduates find a job at their level within one and a half years from graduation. So you have a good chance of finding a job in the fields directly after graduation. Um, you can then work as a programmer, software engineer, um, as an embedded hardware or software engineer, a project manager, a researcher, amongst others. And some of the reasons why I studied this course. Um, there's a good balance between working with hardware and software. So if you don't want to just work with software and do a bit more with the hardware side, this is a good choice. Um, and if you're interested in programming uh, robots or robotic lawnmowers or smart thermostats, uh, robots in general, um, self-piloting drones, uh, then this is the course for you. And there is a very international environment I have colleagues from all over the world um, and there are small groups for the practical lessons. Um, so there's only 16 students in the room so the teachers can spend a lot of time with each and all of us. And every quarter you will apply your knowledge on a project and sometimes the project will last the whole semester. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope this was informative and I wish you good luck with your choices.